crash scene that made off anything but normal are evidence here. Police guarding this hospital outside and inside where suspect Jokart Sarnayev recovers from his wounds. Also in there, a remaining handful of victims whose lives were devastated. He's still unable to talk to interrogators to provide, if he's willing, critical information about the bombings, including the motive. The Boston Marathon bombings and subsequent shootouts with police have reignited the gun control debate. I'm Tom Foley. As investigators look into the gun history of the Boston Marathon bombing suspects, parents of the Sandy Hook school massacre victims spoke out again about the gun issue. Neil Hedlund, the father of six-year-old Jesse Lewis, one of the children killed in Newtown. It's beyond me how these congressmen cannot stand up and support something that would help prevent something like this from ever occurring again. As simple as a background check, you put aside the assault weapons ban or limitations or control. He told CBS and Space the Nation that is not about the Second Amendment. Tom Foley, CBS News, Washington. A tear in the tarp that's covering the boat. Just moments ago, an armored vehicle moved through the crowd. 19-year-old suspect is in custody tonight. Thank you, Congress. Well, on behalf of Crystal and Martin and Lindsay, the MIT officer, the transit police officer, I want to say how grateful I am. This is WBZ News Radio 1030. WBZ News Time 153. Traffic and weather together. Subaru dealers of New England all wheel drive. Traffic on the streets. Good afternoon, Nicole Davis. Hello, good afternoon to you, Mina Green. Yeah, we have more of a brain to crash out there west of town. Mass Pike on the eastbound side prior to 84 in Sturbridge. So be sure to keep an eye out for some delays out there. Otherwise, closer towards the city. Pike's not doing all that bad in both directions. Some good news once you get downtown. The off ramp to Copley Square at exit 22, which has been closed since Monday. It's reopening in just about one hour. However, if you do get off the uh, pike at Copley Square, other roads, uh, the surface roads, namely including Boylston Street, are still closed till further notice, according to Boston Police. Now, quickly uh, checking back out west, Route 2 and 9 carry pretty light volume. Expect to see a bit of a traffic light delay from Natick to Framingham and the through Wellesley as well on Route 9. North of town, 393, 95, all doing fine. Route 1 still pretty good from Chelsea to Danvers. Upper ends of 128 and 495 are fine. South of town, no problems on Route 3 northbound any longer. And the expressway northbound just pulled up from the pond of Columbia. Downtown, the Callahan Tunnel has that right lane restriction in place. Will be in place all day. Consider the Sumner and the Ted Williams instead. Otherwise, next report, 203 on WBZ's traffic on the freeze. I get a call WBZ news time coming up on 155. The four-day WBZ after weather forecast. Now with Brian Thompson. Despite plenty of sunshine, it will be a cool afternoon, a high around 50. And the clear and chilly again tonight, low 31 and some of the colder suburbs to 37 downtown. Then a breezy, cool day tomorrow with times of clouds and sunshine at 51. By Tuesday, it will cloud up and it will be chilly. Only 46 for a high. We'll see off and on rain and drizzle throughout the day. A very pleasant day on Tuesday. We'll start to warm things back up on Wednesday. Clouds and a couple of days of sunshine. Wednesday's high near 60. I'm back to weather meteorologist Brian Thompson, WBZ News Radio 1030. Winds out of the northwest now and they're gusting up to 11 miles an hour. 50 degrees sunshine in Boston, WBZ News Time 155. Time for our weekend travel report. I'm Rob Fritz, WBZ News Radio 1030. I'm here with Bob Rice. He is our all things travel reporter, of course. And uh, we're talking all things travel on WBZ. Bob writes about travel for CBSBoston.com. Bob, big story this past week. American Airlines had a computer meltdown on Tuesday. How serious was that? That was very serious. They had over a thousand uh, flights canceled on Tuesday and spilled over into Wednesday. About uh, 200 flights uh, uh, canceled, especially at their hub in Chicago. And uh, obviously they had a computer. Uh,